Sarah and Braden Chesser's family choosing to meet with us at the Oklahoma Veterans Memorial in Shawnee. Sarah and Braden both served in the Marines. I'm Steve Braden's father. I'm Shelly Braden's mother. I'm Tracy, Sarah's mother. Sarah's father. Tonight they want you to know they stand united. Take a look at the faces here before you. Sarah's mother stands beside me united. Though we are devastated by tragedy, we are one force honoring our children and grandchildren. Friday, October 29th, law enforcement responded to a domestic violence call at Braden and Sarah's home. When deputies got there, Braden, a former Marine, exited the house with a rifle and began firing at officers. Because we know the true character of Braden, because we know that these tragic events do not define him. We are a united family that knows this does not negate a lifetime of service to our country, service that left him changed to his core. Deputy Gary Knowles was hit by Braden's gunfire seven times. I'm told by his wife that he's recovering tonight from another surgery to remove a bullet. Yesterday, he took 10 feet of steps with a walker. We would like to extend our most heartfelt wishes of recovery to the wounded officer and his family. 25-year-old Sarah Chesser, an ER nurse, later found dead inside their home. Hours later, Braden's body found in the woods behind their home. We know many of you, like us, are full of a wide range of emotions and are in mourning. What you see before you is a united family that refuses to let that day's events divide us. Tonight, Braden's mother requesting all who are listening. We respectfully beseech you all to stop any hateful and negative social media posts, conversations, and phone calls. Braden and Sarah leave behind two young boys under the age of five. We ask your help in building a beautiful legacy of hope we know Sarah and Braden wanted for their boys.